All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. And today I want to give you guys a quick breakdown for five new Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming to global very, very soon. In fact, three of them are dropping in about 12 hours from now. And then we got two more that are coming later this month. All right, now real quick before we get into it, Addressing the hat, because obviously I don't wear hats a lot in my videos, but I'm sure you guys can guess why it's made a return to the channel. Things are just getting ridiculous up here, man. Like, I really hope my freaking barber comes back soon, because I really need him right now. I really, really do. Anyways, getting back to the main topic at hand, we're going to start here with the two units that I feel like people are most hyped for as far as their EZAs go. And rightfully so, because while these guys are not Dokkan Fest exclusives, in my opinion, they essentially got Dokkan Fest exclusive level EZAs. Like, both the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and the STR Majin Vegeta are absolute monsters with their EZAs. We'll get to the, detail we'll get to the details in just a second, but why don't we start here with the Extreme Z Battle Event first. And I am happy to tell you guys that this is a standard Extreme Z battle event as opposed to the Extreme Z area, which nobody really likes. And that means a lot more stones, a lot more orbs, a lot more Kai's, and all that good stuff, right? Now, the release date is May 15th, 2020, which like I said, is tomorrow or possibly today, actually, depending on your time zone, but in about 12 hours from the time this video comes out. And the weakness for the event is the Super Saiyan 2 category, which is the new category that was brought over by the Tech Majin Vegeta. But the good thing is that if you guys were not lucky enough to pull him or just straight up skip the banner, you don't have to use him as your leader. You can literally run like a pure Saiyan's team or Vegeta's family team, Goku's family team, anything like that, and still, bring a good number of Super Saiyan 2 category units. So most people should be good here. And moving on to the levels here, you start off by fighting the AGL Goku. And as you can see, you're getting medals for both the Goku and the Vegeta as you make your way along and also getting some uh, AGL orbs. And then after level five, you switch over to the Majin Vegeta. He's an STR type, of course, still getting medals for both units, getting STR orbs now. And then uh, you switch over to Goku once again, the token Awaken form at level 11, uh, getting silver medals now, getting AGL orbs once again. And then after level 14, this event, the enemies will start getting an additional damage reduction of 70% against Fizz types, which means that your Fizz type units will really not be doing much damage here. And I would recommend to take them off your team if you were running them before and uh, you still should be good to go. And then after level 15, or sorry, after level, yeah, after level 15, actually, you switch over to the Token Awakened Majin Vegeta. And then beyond level 21, and I feel like this is pretty cool. Obviously, it's not anything revolutionary because we've had this before with the family Kamehameha EZ, I think. Maybe not, actually. I don't remember if we fought all three of them at once. But at the very least, the uh, family uh, family Gallic Gun or Father Son Gallic Gun Extreme Z Battle Events had us fighting both the Vegeta and the Trunks at the same time, right? So this is kind of the same concept. We're fighting the Goku and the Vegeta together. And uh, now we're getting both AGL and SDR orbs at the same time for every level. And that is pretty much it, guys. Like beyond that, you know, standard stuff, getting more orbs, getting more medals. And uh, once it's all said and done, after the first 30 levels, you're looking at a grand total of enough medals to Extreme Z Awaken the Goku, enough medals to Extreme Z Awaken the Vegeta, as well as 30 Dragon Stones, 5 STR Grand Kai's, 5 AGL Grand Kai's, and a good amount of AGL and STR orbs. Not, as, not enough to actually rainbow uh, one of each type, but still a solid amount. It's kind of like split, split up between the two types, right? Because usually we get en enough orbs of a single type to rainbow one unit. But since it's two types, I guess they decided to give a little bit less of each, which I understand it's okay. And uh, for the missions, we get stones, we get a Hercule statue, we get Kai's. But the cool thing is that since there's two characters to Extreme Z Awaken, you can complete each of these missions twice, one for Goku, one for Vegeta. So in total, if you do the full Extreme Z Awakening, you're getting six total stones, two Hercule statues, and two uh, Elder Kai's for getting each of them to SA uh, 15. 
And that's pretty much all there is for the Extreme Z Battle Event here. The only thing I would pay attention to, really, is the additional damage reduction of 70% against Fizz types, because that is going to make a big difference as far as how much damage your Fizz type units will do, so don't bring them, and uh, you should be good to go, right? So now let's move on to the actual units themselves and go over the details. I've done this before in a previous video, but if you guys didn't watch them or watch that video, then here is a quick refresher, I guess. Starting with Goku, his leader skill after Extreme Z Awakening is Goku's Family Category Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 130%, or AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%. So very useful leader skill, actually. I can see this being extremely effective in Battlefield, for example, if you guys are running category teams, or even just as a sub AGL lead, right? His super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and his passive changes STR key spheres to AGL key spheres, and then attack plus 20%, defense plus 10%, and recovers 10,000 HP per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% per key sphere obtained when there is a family, Vegeta's family category enemy. So, a few components here, but pretty easy to understand if you break it down. So, he's an orb changer, STR key spheres. AGL key spheres, and then he gets attack plus 20% per key sphere obtained against most enemies, defense plus 10% per key sphere obtained, and also 10,000 HP recovery per key sphere. So, first of all, the fact that this guy is a orb changer makes it so that he can get a good amount of orbs every single turn, and 10,000 HP per key sphere obtained is a lot, man. That is a lot of healing right there. And of course, he still gets the defense, he gets a lot of attack, and then if you're fighting anybody from Vegeta's family, then he's getting 25% attack, 15% defense, and 10,000 healing per key sphere obtained. So that's why I'm saying these guys are ridiculous, man. I mean, especially when you can uh, factor in the fact, factor in the fact, when you account for the fact that their stats with their Extreme Z Awakenings are very, very good. Um, ridiculous unit, man. Ridiculous unit. They didn't really have to make this guy that good, but they did. And I'm really glad they did, because a lot of people probably have these guys duped out, right? Um, links, of course, are the same as before. Categories are the same. They don't, they, those don't change with Extreme Z Awakenings, so I'll leave those alone. But now let's move on to the Majin Vegeta, who is actually very similar, but in my opinion, maybe a little bit better, because he gets more defense. So... You'll see in a second. Vegeta's family category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, or STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and his passive changes AGL key spheres to STR key spheres, and then attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5% per key sphere obtained when there is a Goku's family category enemy. So the only difference here is that instead of attack plus 20%, defense plus 10%, and then heals for 10,000 per key sphere obtained, he just straight up gets attack and defense plus 20%. So he's gonna be quite a bit more tanky than the Goku, even though he doesn't have the healing. I feel like the additional 10% defense is actually a better passive to have. That's just my personal opinion. I'm sure some people prefer the healing that Goku provides. But um, I prefer this, honestly. And he, of course, he gets the additional 5% for anybody anytime he's facing a Goku's family um, enemy, like a Goku or a Gohan or a Goten, anything like that. So 25% attack and defense per key sphere obtained in that case. And uh, he is changing key spheres. So just like Goku, he's going to be able to get a good amount of key spheres every single turn. And everything else stays the same. His attack after Extreme Z Awakening is actually 18,000. 18,000 and 11, which just contributes to his already, you know, ridiculous damage, right? So that's gonna be really awesome. I can't freaking wait to run this guy. He's already rainbowed. He's already, you know, set to go. So uh, watch out for that showcase as soon as this drops, or as soon as I'm done the Easy 8, that is, right? So that's the Majin Vegeta, and uh, that's the Goku. So those two guys dropping tomorrow. Can't freaking wait. I will be streaming the Extreme Z battle as well, so uh, definitely.
make sure that you guys tune in for that. Moving on to the other Extreme Z Awakenings I was talking about, uh, it's basically going to be three Gokus, and they're going to be um, Extreme Z Awakened from this Hero Extermination Extreme Z area, which I know people are not big fans of, and um, I'll be honest, man, I haven't done a single one of these Hero Extermination EZAs because I just don't really care about these units that much. There's you know, always a better replacement for every single one of these guys. So it's like, you know, for older players, for veteran players, it's not really necessary to do these EZAs. But for newer players, if you guys haven't been playing for too long, you don't have a lot of the newer units or just missing a lot of units. Uh, these guys are still really, really solid. All right. So there's the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku. There's the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Goku, as well as the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So the first one that's coming out uh, tomorrow is the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Goku, as you can see, May 15th, 2020. And uh, let's just do a, a quick comparison between the old and the new, right? So the old leader skill was Tech and STR types, HP and attack plus 50%. New leader skill, all types, key plus three. HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. His uh, previous uh, super attack was immense damage, which was actually surprising. I'm surprised this guy had immense damage. But then it becomes attack and defense, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes immense damage. And then his passive, and here's the big difference, tech and STR key plus three. So he was a support unit before, not a very, go not a very good one. And after Extreme Z Awakening, he gives all allies key plus three, attack and defense plus 77% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% per Super Saiyan 2 category ally, self-excluded, attacking in the same turn. So I'm not sure if they did the math here, but essentially you're looking at an additional 60% attack and defense on top of the 77% when there are two other Super Saiyan 2 category allies attacking in the same turn. If there's one more, than just 30%, but either way, it's still, you know, <laughs> it's still way, way better than what it used to be, just tech and STR key plus three. So that's the tech Goku right there that's coming tomorrow. And then in a week from then, or a week after that on May 22nd, the AGL Goku will be getting his Extreme Z Awakening. And a uh, huge change here as well. Old leader skill, AGL, tech, and STR, HP, and attack plus 30%. Now it's all types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. I don't know why they, they didn't just keep it 50% for all three of them. Like, I don't know what the 10% difference makes, but, or like, why they need to do a 10% difference, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, still way better than before, right? And then we got uh, Super Attack causes supreme damage and raises attack for six turns. And it used to be three turns from the uh, for the pre-Extreme Z Awakening. And then his old passive was key plus three, all allies, for all allies when HP is 99% or below. So they had to put a, a, a HP restriction on this. Not a very, you know, tough one to meet by any means. You take one hit, it'll be below 99% HP. But that being said, it just wasn't necessary, right? New passive is all allies key plus three, attack plus 30%, and Super Saiyan 2 category allies defense plus 30%, attack and defense plus 70%. So this guy is more of a support. Um, yeah, all allies key plus three, attack plus 30% if you're, um, you know, if you're supporting Super Saiyan 2 units, that's uh, defense plus 60%. And wait, no. Oh my bad, no, no, I got confused. I thought it was attack and defense, attack and defense plus 30%. So just attack plus 30%, but if you're supporting Super Saiyan 2, then it's attack and defense plus 30%. And then he also gives himself attack and defense plus 70%. So in total, he's getting key plus three, attack and defense plus 100% compared to this old passive. Definitely a huge, huge upgrade as well. And last but not least, we have the Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Goku, who's coming out on May 29th. 2020, so one week after the AGL Goku. Old passive or old leader skill, STR and Fizz types, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Now it's all types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 40%. So it looks like the tech one actually has the best passive or best leader skill out of the three by a little bit. And his super attack causes supreme damage and raises defense by 30% for six turns. And his uh, passive is all allies key plus three, defense plus 30%, Super Saiyan 2 category allies attack plus 30%, and attack and defense plus 70%. So he's very similar to this Goku actually, except for the fact that the attack and defense are reversed. And I would actually say that the 
Yeah, I would actually say that this Goku is better because giving all allies key plus 3 and attack plus 30%, um, you know, when they're not Super Saiyan 2 category units, is definitely better than just key plus 3 defense plus 30%. But if you're supporting Super Saiyan 2 units, then it's the same passive essentially, right? Um, and same link, same categories as before. And that's pretty much it guys, that is the video, those are the 5 new Extreme Z Awakenings that are coming to Global. Obviously the most exciting ones are the Majin Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. These 3 Super Saiyan 2 Gokus are nice, but I don't feel like a lot of you know, long time players are really going to be using them, but they're there if you guys want to use them. You know, it's an option, right? So uh, there you go my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys learned something. From it along the way and i uh, hope you guys are excited for two more extreme z awakenings or i guess three more extreme z awakenings coming tomorrow on global some more content to grind before part two of the goku day celebration begins which should be probably early next week i would say most likely early next week i'm not i'm not sure but that's probably a good guess anyways that is the video guys thank you so much for watching you guys are freaking amazing as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.